hi gems how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing very good all right so gems we're gonna jump into your 48 is that what it is yeah 48 hours first 48 okay let's see what the energy is for gemini first 48 hours when it comes to love angels thank you when it comes to love first 48 for gemini what's the first energy for gems please when it comes to the first 48 the fools in reverse proceeding with caution <laughs> you guys are not trying to make mistakes this time around so you are like hot eyeing somebody right now really just like trying to investigate them seeing what they're really up to not really trusting what this person is saying tell me more for gemini's 48 <laughs> Oh my goodness, the three of cups. So you feel like this person was up to no good. Okay. See here. Celebrating when they're not supposed to. Acting like they're single. For those of you who are in a relationship, this could also be for some of you who are not in a relationship. You just have these fake people around you, not really consistent, and you're like eyeing them. Like really just seeing what's going on here. You know, if they say run, you're going to walk. If they say walk, you're going to run, period. <laughs> you're not trusting them. We have the king of wands here, the temperance. We have the judgment. And we have the sun in reverse. So you definitely made a decision when it comes to this person, this energies that is in your life. They're not making you happy. They're stressing you out here in the sun in reverse. They're holding you back to your bliss, your happiness, your progress. They're not helping you to grow. This is what I'm hearing, okay? You're going to have to choose yourself in the temperance being here. I'm seeing Sag energy. I'm seeing Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy. But some of you might be dealing with that, okay? Then we have Leo here. We have Libra, okay? Okay, let's see. Tell me more. This card wants to show itself. What is this? Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> you know, at this point, you're just like, you know what? Enough is enough for this. You know, you know, whatever this is, it's a friendship. This could be a relationship. You just, this could be family situation with your home, just not feeling right. You're just like distant, distancing yourself from this, this energy, this Ten of Cups here. Okay, not feeling like it's right, like something is off here, like these people are not for you, they are against you kind of energy. This is what I'm hearing, okay? The Knight of Cups, yep. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see what is going on. <sighs> Oof, oh my god so you guys want to see you guys wanted to see where things are going with this person i'm seeing someone is offering someone or wanted to offer them a you know a new beginning let's try again let's see if this is going to rock let's see if it's going we're going to build something let's see if it's going to be solid and it just not you just know in your heart that this is off this is off you have the, the ten of cups the knight of cups in reverse whatever you wanted to try here it's just not working Right. And you just know in your heart that it's not going to last. And this is why a lot of you are not putting your hundred percent in. You're not invested in this relationship like you really want to. OK, we have the Knight of Pentacles here where someone is preparing to build something. Someone is preparing to give you this offer. But this person is kind of slow when it comes to a legacy. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like something here is like this person isn't this person is not showing how they appreciate or truly love you with the Ten of Cups here and the Knight of um, Cups as well. They're not showing you that like how they feel about you. It's like um, everything is being brought out into something that is not like this person is being really dramatic into something that could just be dealt with calmly collectively and just you know die 
But this person is just like, you know, taking it out of proportion, you know, when, especially when they don't get their way, they just want to make it be bigger than it is like a commotion. This is what I'm feeling here, especially with this thing ending, like you're making this decision to like, you know, end this, like, okay, this home is not what you want. This home is not how you see yourself living. This is not where you want to be five years from now. And they're taking it out of proportion. Like, oh my God, this is the end of their lives, you know, and turn it in against you and make you look like the bad person here. But I'm also seeing like this person has this like tendency they do want a future they do want this but they're not showing it they're not appreciating you in the ten of cups you know they're not anything you do it's just not enough this is what i'm hearing this is what i'm seeing in the ten of cups okay and all you wanted was to be appreciated in this connection and if that person could do that, great. Then y'all could build something. But they're not appreciating you. They're making you seem like you're dramatic. Like you are um, doing things uh, that is not good for the family. I don't... It's just, this is the vibe that I'm feeling here. But this person... If this person was really honest with you and to tell you what they're planning and what they want, but there's no action to it, not really. They're on their way, but when by the time they get there and give you this offer of stability, okay, and feeling like, and let you know that, okay, they're there for you or you're number one in their life, they're going to make this work. Whatever this is, it could be a motherly figure, a fatherly figure, a symbol in, this could be love as well, okay? I'm feeling like it's everything. <laughs> everybody <laughs> and this person is just gonna be too slow i do see that they love you in the chariot they want to be successful with you but they're taking their lovely time with these two cards here the Knight of pentacles and the chariot they know what direction they want to go in okay okay but they're not moving fast enough for you you're um on your way to make a decision because you feel like this person is the empress in reverse lazy someone that is not good for your energy someone that's just staying around trying to live off of you someone that is trying to use you put you down somebody that know think they know everything arguing arguing with you being loud over your voice you can't get a word out you have to push yourself you have to be a person that you don't want to be you they bring out the, the worst in you in the empress that's what it is they bring out the worst in you okay they're dimming your sun you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel with the sun here <sighs> you want something different this is what you're dealing with in the next 48 <clears throat> very stubborn very stubborn energy you don't care though you don't care at this point you're being really like choosing yourself look at this making a decision in the judgment the high font is here libra Taurus energy, okay? Hmm. I mean, the Empress could be um, Taurus energy too because it is earthbound Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus coming up twice over. But for me as a reader, I put it all the way down and it's Virgo, <laughs> okay? Virgo, Taurus, okay, but they got, you know, you know, it is what it is, all right, Libra, Leo, y'all got a lot of major cards coming out here, Cancer, Sag, anybody else, the Fools, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, again, Judgment, oh, all right, tell me more. Next 48 for Geminis. Whew. Next 48. Wow. Okay, the Ace of Wands is showing itself. The Three of Swords is on the end of everything. Okay. We have Virgo and Gemini Energy and the Magician coming through as well. Taking back your power. Okay. Take him back your power. <laughs> this is a new beginning for you. Take him back your power. Take him back your passion, your inspiration within yourself. A new idea moving forward. You know, you're going to be dealing with a lot of this. The eight of swords. Feeling caught up, tied up. You know, trying to figure out how to free yourself from this. 
that's what's going on in the next 48 taking back your power your control of this whole situation and nine of cups is what you're you're trying to deal with for some of you there's a family here there's something that you built for the nine of cups and the ten of cups to be here this is your 11 11 something about the future being in reverse your home okay like something doesn't feel right here but yet there is some kind of promises okay where this person you know promised you okay for success wishes that you made with this person having this conversation okay there is still this hope that this person might turn around but you're not investing in anything in a seven of pentacles like you're keeping the hope alive okay because you know that there is love here all right <clears throat> you're waiting for things to you know happen for you but there's this three of swords in reverse so a lot of you are just letting things go but you're dealing with your mental state this person is playing mind games with you or did this in the past and it really scarred you. This is what I'm seeing here. But you're putting things in the universe's hands. A lot of you are really connecting with your spiritual side and trying to get your mental um, health back on track. Your spiritual health and also your physical health. <sighs> but you know about this heartbreak. This is something that happens. This is something that you're used to. This is something that you're just like... You, you know that this is going to continue to happen within this person because they did it more than once. Wow. Tell me more. I'm so interested in this. Next 48 for Gemini. Ooh, something fell here. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. <laughs> wow. You see, Gemini, this is you. Gemini Virgo energy. Look at this, Virgo energy. You're taking that initiative to move forward. You're trying... <laughs> Thank you, angels. <laughs> they be creeping me out sometimes when they be giving me the messages. Y'all, you see this? This is what your next 48 hours is content to be. You're trying to figure out your life, yourself, taking back your power, making good decisions. I wanted to know more. The angels gave me Virgo. You're on your way to your journey. You're on your way to find out things solo. Trying to be what you want to be. I feel like a lot of you got in this relationship or this situation, this connection. And tried to really make this work. Whatever this might be. And it just took over your whole life. This is what I'm seeing here. And you're taking back your power, trying to find out, okay, is this what I want to do for me? Because I need to start making right decisions for myself because this ain't working. This ain't working. <laughs> this is what I have for you. So look out for, you know, making better decisions, building up your life, and you're doing very well. This Virgo energy here is a positive one. You're like, you're backing up from all of this mess, okay? You're backing up from this mess. You're trying to find, give yourself some space and try to find out what you need to be for yourself i feel like a lot of you are being something else for this energy trying to be you know whatever they need but it was draining the life source out of you and affecting you mentally spiritually physically all right and you're trying to figure out how to get your power back in the magician how to get your power back how to make wiser decisions in the magician and then the virgo card came out you're distancing yourself from this energy making that decision for you you're choosing you you're choosing your power you're choosing everything that you want you know about all of this and you're dealing with it as positive as positively as you can in the next 48 I hope this resonates for y'all. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. But if it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist list, 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 list <laughs> linked below, y'all. And love you guys for all your love and support, Geminis. And I'll see you guys in your next read. <laughs> Bye, guys.